What's up guys, we're back with more Boost to the Top. Actually, you know, I, I just got right into it right there. We're back with Boost to the Top, not more, because it's been a minute since we actually did this series. But, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be using that team that I actually showed you guys yesterday. Uh, it's called Chungus Deluxe. If you want to check out the rental code, here it is on the screen. Uh, usually if I don't show it immediately in the video, people are like, where's the rental code? Like, they'll comment it immediately. Uh, so here it is, you know, watch the video. We're going to be checking it out today. Uh, I've actually built this team myself, and I used it in a live stream last night. If you guys want to join me in my live streams, I go live every weeknight at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, or whatever that stands for. It's CST, but... Yeah, we were using this team last night. It did relatively okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about it. So the whole gist of this team is Pikachu has always had this really, really great Gigantamax move uh, where it automatically paralyzes every non-electric type on your opponent's side of the field. And it, it was okay. It was like an okay... It was bad. I'm not going to lie. It was a bad Pokemon. Um, but now that it has its hidden ability it got just slightly more bearable it's like it's got lightning rod so it's able to protect things like um togekiss on its own team so yeah we're gonna be checking it out tonight uh if you guys want to join me in my live stream tonight links in the description uh, if you guys want to do me a favor help support the channel uh we got over a thousand or not not over we're at nearly a thousand views on the last pikachu video so if you guys want to do me a favor if you're watching it if every one of you left a like on this video it would help me grow my channel. It would do amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So we're facing uh, a pretty tough matchup for the team. Basically, um, Excadrill is going to give us some issues. However, if I can find a way to paralyze that Excadrill, I'm not in a terrible spot. I'll go ahead and I'll lead off with uh, Big Chungus Pikachu and uh, Togekiss here. Togekiss is rocking the Babiri Berry, so I'll actually be able to uh, go ahead and follow me away any hit from the Pikachu. Hopefully, it'll be a ground-type move, uh, and then I'll take no damage. Uh, but even if it's, it's that, if it's that max deal spike, I'll be fine. Uh, a little bit concerned about Rotom Wash. However, my own Rotom Wash does not look too bad for this matchup. I think my last Pokemon, I'm tempted to go with Incineroar uh, because I'm able to intimidate uh, both of those sand abusers. Uh, however, I feel a little bit more safe going with Venusaur because the sleep doesn't seem bad. Um, and also, Dragapult doesn't seem like it's going to be doing too much this game. He has a lot of checks to Dragapult. Yeah, all right. I think that'll work. I don't have that much practice with the team. I played a couple of games with it on Showdown, and I played with it a bit last night, but yeah, I'm a little bit rusty. Like, I, I haven't played the game consistently for about a month because I was doing school stuff. All right. Also, please excuse my tiny little facial hair. I, I need to shave. I'll do that before the stream tonight. I'll try to look pretty for you guys. Okay, this is actually an excellent lead for me. This is an excellent lead. Um, because they're likely going to be going for... I don't think they're going to go Earthquake. I think they're going to go with Stomping Tantrum. I kind of wish I brought the Incineroar now, because I would have a middle ground play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to follow me away whatever hit, though, and go for this Paralysis. I'm hoping they're not running Earthquake. Earthquake is pretty common on Excadrill now, but I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best here. If I can get the Paralysis, I'm not in a bad spot. Hopefully that's Dynamax Excadrill, because then they can't actually, um... Then they can't actually deal with Pikachu. Alright, it's Dynamax Excadrill. That's the best possible outcome. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get a free hit off on the Tyranitar and actually paralyze this Excadrill. Alright, time for the man, the myth, the legend, Big Pikachu. I actually love this Dynamax. This Dynamax is adorable. It's one of my favorite in the game. It has a pretty powerful move, too. P. Say it, man. Say it. P. There we go. <laughs> okay. Tyranto is going to protect. That's actually perfectly fine. Once this Excadrill is paralyzed, I'm actually going to outspeed it because I'm speed crept specifically to uh, take on Jolly Max Speed Excadrill. And here we go, G-Max Bolt Crash into this Tyranitar is going to paralyze the Excadrill, and now I can go for my, um, now I can go for my Max Geyser into the Excadrill. I'm going to get rid of the Sand, and that's also going to drop the Special Defense of Tyranitar, uh, because it gets that boost from the Sand. And I'll just follow me another hit from the, uh, from the Excadrill, because I know I can take it. Go for this Max Geyser. Go for the follow me. 
Or actually, hmm. I could play a mind game here. If I know he's gonna go for that steel spike, I could just deal with it, but I'll just I'll just follow me away the hit. They just look at that! They just forfeit. They're like, alright, I can't take on the man. I can't take on the man Pikachu. We're fine. That's the first win of the session. It just turn one win. Pikachu just makes people rage quit. Let's check out what they had. If they were like Life Orb X drill, that might have KO'd, I think. I have a lot of defense investment though. Let's see. The item? Bogus Sash. We were fine, man. We were fine. Let's continue battling. I'm gonna try to get uh, two or three games per per video for the series. But if you guys want to join me with more boost to the top, I do do it live. I said doo doo. I said doo doo, and I don't know how I feel about that. I do it live every every weeknight. Ira. Me and my buddies have so many Family Guy jokes. Not because we like Family Guy, but we're just like memeing on it. This is once again an excellent game for Big Pikachu. What is Sock's speed stat though? I need to check that before I feel comfortable continuing with the game. Because I'm familiar with all the stats of these other Pokemon. As I probably like forget one of them mid-match. Alright. Sock. Sock is base 85. We are faster than Sock. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Pikachu. There's not much they can do about it. They could try to go like Max Guard copycat for Trick Room with like the uh, Chandelure or something, but I feel comfortable like this. I feel pretty comfortable. Who do I want to lead off with? Um, I wish I had a Helping Hand user. I think we're just going to go with the Togekiss lead again. In the back, uh, my Dragapult doesn't look amazing, actually. I'm kind of concerned about Liopard. Um, I don't have any Sun. I think I want to go with Incineroar. And probably Rotom. Yeah, that looks about right. Because Incineroar is going to help me deal with a couple of things in the team. It'll be able to take hits from uh, this Chandelure and be able to take a hit from the Dragapult. Unless it's Surf Dragapult. That'd be so annoying. Surf Dragapult would mess me up. And Gyarados is just a non-issue. We outspeed it, we kill it. It's, su it's such a free KO for Pikachu. If it's Lumberry Gyarados, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed though. That's been picking up in usage, I think. Okay, this is actually great. This is great. Oh man, Pikachu's about to mess up this whole team. Let me max Volt Crash for the Paralysis and follow me away whatever hit they want to go for. They can do whatever they want here, and I think I'll be fine. Like, Heat Wave from Chandelure, I wouldn't enjoy, uh, but I'll be able to take it. My hair is all messed up today. That's why I put on this hat. Alright. You get you do your thing, man. Do your thing. I'm gonna say we're gonna do about 50% to this uh, to the Chandelure. We're not max special attack. We're timid with 100 special attack investment, uh, but I think we are gonna do about 50% because that light ball special attack is so high. This will also make it easier to pick up the KO on the Dragapult. All right, we're gonna fall me away. Whatever hit he's gonna go for. Max Airstream. He's still going to be faster than us, but I don't mind that too much. He's not doing anything to the Togekiss. But I will be faster than Chandelure with both my Mons, even at plus one. Since they're getting paralyzed. There's the Heat Wave. Going to be doing a little... That's going to be doing about 40... Or about 50% to the uh, Pikachu. Oh, and it hangs on. Okay. Uh, this is actually interesting. Critical hit, too. Yeah. I knew it was Focus Sash, though. Um, that's like the only item people run on this thing. I'm kind of concerned about weakness policy on this Dragapult, to be honest. It's a slight concern. Um, if I follow me away another hit, I might max guard. Hmm. I'm going to max guard here on my Pikachu. And just Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's not Weakness Policy Dragapult. 
That's the max airstream. He doesn't pick up the KO. Yeah, Chandler, I'm gonna need you to get fully paralyzed. Can you miss Toekiss? Alright, that's whatever. Let me think. So they're at neutral speed here. I could send in Incineroar and probably be fine. I kind of need to get lucky with these paralysis, though. And it looks like it's not clear body Dragapult, which is actually amazing for me. I think I'll be able to take anything that isn't... <laughs> anything anything that's, that's called Max Airstream I can take. Um... Dang. Uh, I kind of want to go for Max Bull Crash into that thing again. I'm just Darkest Lariat. Or I could Parting Shot. I think Parting Shot makes more sense here. Where's the Max Phantasm? I'm going to lose my Pikachu here, unfortunately. There's the heat wave. It's not going to be doing too much to this Incineroar. A lot more than I expected, though. Can lower that thing's attack stat once more. It's now at minus two, and it's 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 probably physical Dragapult considering it's running Max Airstream. I'm getting my Rotom. I now feel pretty comfortable going for Nasty Plot. I have to remember what he has in the back, though. kind of need a paralysis here though because uh energy ball coming out from that chandelier would be annoying or actually let me think they're probably imprison trick room shadow ball flamethrower or shadow ball heat wave considering like their focus ash i definitely think nasty plot's gonna be my best play then because he's not doing much to rotom uh let me darkest lariat into he's a bigger threat very chandelier. Hmm. I don't wanna I don't wanna let anything in for free. I'll nasty plot in just darkest light right into the into this dragapult. Dragon darts. Alright, yeah, that's not gonna be doing too much. <sighs> Alright. That <laughs> did nothing. We're fine. Fully paralyzed? This is going good. This is going good. Hoping to see a Gyarados in the back. So we get that KO. Yeah, his team's pretty uh his team's pretty Rotom weak. Dude, that might be an issue. Sock, I don't know how I feel about I have to check sock stats, man. I have to check that again. I had it open. I had it open and I forgot. The special defense is 175. Um, yikes. All right, I think it's in my best interest just to double into the sock slot. And I wanna go for a hydro pump, because I think that might do it. Or it's not 175, it's just 75. And he just kept that's choice band sock or choice scarf or something. There's no way that just naturally KOs me. He's gonna be a close one. Ener he did have energy ball. Okay. He did have the energy ball. Hopefully I can get my berry after this. I'm thinking that's like bandit sock. Guys, I lost. <laughs> I definitely lost. Alright, we're just gonna forfeit that match. We'll run from this. Sock? That's crazy. I, I figured he'd be inner focus, not sturdy. That's interesting tech, though. 
All right, unfortunately, we lost to Family Guy Peter. All right. But we got one more game for this session. Hopefully, we can make it a win. We'll continue battling with this team. Pikachu didn't carry, didn't carry that game very well. You know, we actually never found out the draggable item. I was still concerned it was weakness policy. All right. Facing someone pretty low ladder. And they're running what I think is going to be Gigantamax Machamp. Um, and we're going to have to keep a close eye on that Arcanine. I see Dragapult and Arcanine, and I'm getting like flashbacks of beat-up Arcanine shenanigans. So, I'm going to do Tide and True lead, so I kiss Pikachu. And the reason I'm doing this is because if it is Dragapult, Arcanine with beat-up, I don't want to get caught off guard. This will allow me to uh, go ahead and follow me away the beat-up, uh, and then just paralyze both of those Pokemon. Um... As for the rest of this team, this doesn't look like a terrible Dragapult game. Uh, here's the thing, Dragapult is a lot safer when it's next to Pikachu, in my opinion, uh, because Pikachu's gonna be paralyzing everything. I'm not saying that you should always run Dragapult next to Pikachu. Don't run Pikachu, in my opinion. It's not that great. I'm doing this because I wanna run it. Uh, but because I'm paralyzing the other Dragapult, I don't have to worry about speed ties. I think my last Pokemon is probably... I want to go Rotom or Incineroar. Um, I think I get the most from Incineroar out of this game, though. Then I don't have a Water type. Maybe Dragapult. Or, or maybe maybe Rotom instead. Let me think. Fake out. He's got two Ghost types. Uh, I, think, I think I'll bring Rotom. I feel a lot safer with it. Because if they do bring Machamp, then what's the point? <laughs> Alright, Grimmsnarl Dragapult, that's actually a great lead for me. If they try to go for some Thunder Wave cheese, I'll be perfectly fine. And Tokus threatens them pretty bad. Let me get some uh, damage on this Dragapult. And I'll follow me away, whatever. If I get faked out, that's that's going to be an issue. I won't lie. But um, I'm I'm kind of willing to roll the dice here. Alright, they're going to Dynamax. Last night on stream, when I was playing, uh, someone actually just straight up thunder waved in the face of Pikachu with their with their Grim Snarl. If they did that right now, I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy. I'm thinking they're probably gonna go for screens if anything, though. Look at him, his posture—it's beautiful. All right, here's the follow me. He didn't go for fake out then. Perfectly fine. Trick. You eject button? <laughs> that works out. That works out perfectly fine. He's gonna make me switch out my Togekiss, but uh, now I get in my Dragapult, which is beautiful. Alright. He's gonna force out the Togekiss. I get my Dragapult in, and he's Life Orb. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Here's my G-Max Volt Crash, I'm going to be faster than you. And he gets fully paralyzed. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to max guard with my Pikachu. And I will go for this Phantom Force. The reason I'm Phantom Forcing here is because... Um, He's going to need to 
he is going to need to attack this turn uh, and then max guard next turn. And by forcing him to max guard next turn or losing his Dragapult, um, I'm actually in a pretty good spot to attack Pikachu. I don't want to attack this turn because at minus one defense, I'm definitely not going to take anything from this Dragapult. As Grimstar is fully paralyzed, that's beautiful. It means no screen for him. There's the Max Wormwind. Beautiful. Alright, so that's going to force him to need to attack my Pikachu. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to... I kind of want to Volt Crash into the Grimmsnarl. But I also want to Volt Crash into the Dragapult in case this doesn't KO. I don't think it matters if it doesn't KO. Because I still have my Togekiss in the back. I'll Volt Crash Grimmsnarl. Because he might just Max Guard here and I get some good damage. Fully Paralyzed again. Ooh, <laughs> we're fine. Beautiful. See, that's why Pikachu is such a dangerous Dynamax. Like, it's it's definitely not amazing, but it's one of the most dangerous Pokemon. And now I get free damage on Grimmsnarl. He didn't even have a, he didn't have the opportunity to put up screens. Does so much. I think everything he has in the back is slower than Pikachu too. Yeah, it is. There's Machamp. Um, he doesn't get Sucker Punch. He does get Bullet Punch, though. I'm thinking my play is to... I can't go for Thunder safely. I can Surf. I'll Surf and I'll go for um, I'll go for Phantom Force into the Machamp. You can't go for Thunder Wave or anything. <laughs> this Grim Snarl isn't moving. It's not moving, man. He's, he's shaking, dude. He's paralyzed. He's shaking in his boots because Pikachu's alive, dude. Pikachu's in the house. Yeah, we get that KO on the Grim Snarl. Not too much damage on the Machamp. That tells me it's most likely Assault Vest. Dynamic Punch. Goodbye, Pikachu. You served your purpose. Salute the Pikachu, guys. Yeah, he needed that crit. Definitely. Definitely needed the crit. It, it wasn't in the bag. Uh, I'll send in Togekiss here. The champ speed stat is 55, I believe. 55 or 60. I might be able to get a Dazzling Gleam off. Um, however, I might just also follow me. We'll see what he has in the back. Nine Tails. Okay, that um, might be an issue. I think Rotom can take it on, though. As long as they don't have to freeze dry. Um, I can't take a hit with Togekiss. I think I should protect you every time. Or do I just let Togus go down to get in Rotom? Hmm. They might just go for Veil, too. I think they might Veil. Yikes, this is actually kind of a tough one. Um. Just Yawn. Why not? It's a Phantom Force. Kind of hoping they Veil up. The blizzard is free. Yeah, there it is. So I can win this, but I think I need to land a Hydro Pump onto that Machamp. And also protect my first turn out, because their moveset is probably something like Hypnosis. Hypnosis is so good in this format. Like, it's, it's not good, but it's like... It's a move you should probably try out. Alright. I want it to be in range of Thunderbolt. Even behind Veil. So what I'll do is I'll protect here and hope that Thunderbolt can knock out behind Veil in Assault Vest. Because I don't want to risk the Hydro Pump. I also have to hope they don't have Freeze Dry. Because Freeze Dry means I lose. They need to just be like Blizzard, Moonblast, whatever. It might not even be Moonblast. There's the Aurora Veil. They're going to take some hail damage, though. And Dynamic Punch. Alright. So I think they're in range of Thunderbolt. I'm hoping they are. 
There's no way Thunderbolt does that little, right? Uh, might Hydro Pump. 80% chance? I'm going to have to Hydro Pump, man. I don't, I don't trust Thunderbolt. This thing's clearly Assault Vest. I don't trust Thunderbolt. He's got Bullet Punch. Okay. He's got Freeze Dry, too. Please don't do that much. Come on, I'm Calm Nature. Yikes, okay. Might have lost. Might have lost here. Okay. So, Freeze Dry is going to do a lot. Um, I guess my only out is a very low roll on Freeze Dry and getting Paralysis here. That's, that's my only out. Nah, Hale's gonna knock me out now. Watch me actually get the Paralysis, though. No, alright. That's gonna be it for today, though, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming out to the video. Unfortunately, we weren't able to pick up more than one win with Pikachu, and even then, the, the only win we got was uh, a Rage Quit. But yeah, uh, it's like I said, Pikachu, definitely not like the best Pokemon. Probably pretty bad, but it's, it's just a fun one to use. It's very dangerous. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. My rats are going crazy in their cage. They're knocking over their food bowl. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want to do me a favor, leave a like. Helps me grow the channel. It does so much for me. If everyone who watched this video left a like, it would definitely get a lot of views. Thank you so much, though. Um, be sure to join the Discord. Check out my Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.